let's do a little more of an in-depth look at a color wheel. Now, a color wheel, we looked at the primary colors, how to make the secondary colors, and the intermediate colors. We're going to talk a little bit about complementary colors. We're going to look at some controlling your color mixing, understanding how to use complementary colors, and making neutral colors. Now, complementary colors are directly across from each other on the color wheel. We have red and green right across from each other on the color wheel. Blue and orange are across from each other on the color wheel. And yellow and purple or violet. Purple and violet to me are interchangeable. Violet sounds cooler though. <laughs> so um, we're going to spend a little bit of time painting those and um, just give them a little paint in next to your color wheel just as an exercise. Now I want you to see when they're next to each other how vibrant they are. We talked about that a little bit before, but the yellow and purple are very vibrant and almost vibrating next to each other as are the green and red and the blue and orange are as well. A lot of sports teams use variations of these complementary colors to kind of create that action and vibrancy. But let's look at what happens when we mix the complementary colors. Kind of the opposite happens. So what you're going to do is make a little chart and we're going to do some color mixing. So you're going to make a long rectangle that is maybe about eight inches and divide it into one, two, three, four, five, six, six sections. Okay, and you're going to do that three times. So the first one is going to be blue and orange, and you can label this complementary colors. You might want to do it on another page up away from your color wheel just so you have room. And we're going to practice mixing them. And when you mix complementary colors, you create a series of neutral colors. My point here is that we don't need that brown and black that are in our color palettes or our watercolors. So you're going to prepare three of these, red and green, blue and orange, and yellow and violet. And then you're going to start painting. So on the outside, you're going to paint the blue, just blue, pure blue, nothing else. And then on the opposite, pure orange, nothing else. Now your goal here is to create the most intense color. Intense means pure. Okay, so on the outside of all of these, it's going to be the color at its most intense. And you're working towards creating more dull colors. Now the first thing you're going to start with is, I'm, I think, the blue. So when I start, I'm going to make a puddle of blue in my palette. And you're going to mix from there. And I'm going to add a little dot of orange. And I didn't even mix my, I didn't even um, clean my brush out. But then I take a little bit of that orange and mix it in with the blue. Now your goal here is to still have a blue color, but just a blue that's a little more dull. Okay. Then I mix a little more orange with it and I'm going to go even more dull. But still it's going to kind of be in the blue range. Now as you get to the two center ones, they're going to be very neutral. Now, I'm going to start over with the orange. Oh, I guess I didn't. <laughs> okay, so now that one when you look at those two middle ones, they, you can't quite tell if it's blue or orange. That means it's a neutral color. Now on the outside, next to the intense, it still should be orange, but a little more dull. Okay, so now you have your intense on the outside and your dull on the inside. You're going to do the same thing for the red and the green. The most intense on the outside. A little bit of red inside that green or a little bit of green inside that red. It's still red, but it's not so bright. And then over here, it's still green. Actually a little softer green. And then the two inside ones should be much more neutral, but lean towards the green or the red, whatever side it's on. And then your last row is the yellow and the violet. Oh, 
Okay, so the point here is to understand how to create neutral colors or dull colors. And what we did is we went from the bright or the intense on the outside to the inside or the middle of the line. <clears throat> so it's more dull. That's the whole point of learning how to mix these complementary colors. So your browns or neutral colors are more interesting than just digging into the brown well of watercolor paint or the black one of watercolor paint. So you try it now on your own.